Also, I'm not sure if this game was intended to be an open world game. <laughs> the weather like clouds. That's right, Bobo. That's the weather out here. Nothing but clouds. Hmm. There we go. I was going to say, where the fuck am I supposed to go now? Well, you found a page. Vermont. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Well, that was a fun little diversion again. But this is not the mill we seek, apparently. The mill we seek is down there. I wonder if I can go over this cliff without dying. We're going to find out right now. Gonna have to jump! <laughs> the answer is no. You died. Well, that sucks. I suppose that is realistic, but come on. Come on. Realism. What's even the point of living? Now I have to go and get that page again because I was stupid, I guess. I guess I was stupid. Was it really me? <laughs> Maybe it's the game that's dumb. <laughs> that sounds more right. I was wearing... What the... F you were sneaking. Right, pick that up. Put it in your pocket. Probably didn't even have to pick that up again. I didn't get a notification, but oh well. So tired from jogging downstairs. Okay, maybe if we go to the right here, we'll have a switchback or something. My favorite part is how I... It started fading to darkness, even before the uh, the vehicle hit the ground. That's how you knew it was a lethal fall, right? There we go. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Yep, we got some museum facts here. While there were some earlier residents in the area... The true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came from the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. Well, that's good. And here we have one of the discarded thermoses from the museum gift shop. Some say that it's made out of gold. Well, actually, it's made out of pure coal. Mine from the mine. <laughs> yeah, another manuscript page. That's good. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for me. Oh, a little early on that one, but I don't think we lost much. <clears throat> in 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron, Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 of the miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all the mining around Bright Falls came to a final and sudden stop. Now, many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Well, that's good. Gotta protect your, your history. And they're doing it. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. 
Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! Uh, I'm gonna kill him. Son of a bitch, someone locked me in! I had to get to Mirror Peak. All fucking right, everything explodes. Maybe closer than ever before. It didn't loosen the door up, though. Let's see. Ah, here we go. I was gonna say, how the fuck do I get out of here again? <laughs> Hell of a jump there. Hell of a jump. Got some flares. At least I still have my gun now. Hey. Huh. Another commemorative one for the museum, eh? This one has a picture of a volcanic eruption on it. <laughs> sure, I'll fall down there. Oh. Ow. Did not mean to fall down that far, but what can you do? Calm down there, train. I'm reading. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. That's right, Bubba. If you want to see your wife again, you better bring all the thymuses. If there's a single one missing, your wife gets it. Already got full ammos. Quite a few shotgun rounds. Ow, bitch. Ow, bitch! Let me put that in my pants, and I'll kick your ass, okay? There we go. That really fucking hurt. <laughs> well, that was weird. What if that secondary explosion was? Hey, flashbangs. I'll try not to use these up so foolishly. I have 18 flares. Holy shit. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, have a flare. I have to say, that was fairly well executed. Stuck it right between his teeth, and then I shot him. Now there's something to rockin' in this train, that's for sure. What the fuck, Al? 
try it again. Damn it, Al. Down into the thing. There you go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Once I figured out how to direct his uh, throws into the actual train car. What the hell? Holy shit! Guess we should probably just keep moving. the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Let's see. That's where they go over there, so let's go that way. And there are buddies. Not a problem. Used up a fair bit of ammo on that one, though. Thank goodness these shadow people can't use guns, right? Ooh, a flare gun. My favorite. Let's save that for a rainy day, though. No pages or thermoses? What's the world coming to? Think you saw that thing, Rock. Pretty sure that one's gonna get up too. If this one doesn't. There you go, easy peasy. Hey guys! Russians everywhere! Uh oh. Ow, dicks! There you go, punks! All part of my elaborate scheme. That was a well-used one. I thought about going with the flare again, but then I was all, no, no, no. Not a problem whatsoever. Actually, I probably could have used you for better effect, huh? Well, piss. That's a missed opportunity. Wasted a lot of resources on those guys when I could have just used a vehicle. Oh well, doesn't matter. Really, I need a challenge, right? Ooh. Oh, my God!
Come back, I want to play. It's a little far away for a video game shotgun. There we go, that's more like it. What? How the hell did you survive? No problem, only solutions. Anybody else? More flares. Flares are pretty awesome in this game. I don't remember using them as extensively as I am now when I first played this game. I have been to this portion, though. Something that'll explode. I like those. Actually, this place could go up any second, huh? We can have somebody... Yep. There we go. It's gonna say, we have all these things. They're gonna give me an opportunity to use them. Trust no one in the dark. Okay. You got it writing on the wall. Eh, it looks like no pages or anything. Let's go up. We haven't seen one for a while. Sure, we've missed a couple. Hey, but we haven't missed a thermos. Let's see, I'm counting on Bobo to find me another description for this one. Oh, and speaking of which, here's a page. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. <laughs> All right, Bobo has a good one for us. This thermos has Gravedigger on it. Souvenir from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Ah, oh, great. There's stuff all over the crab. I'll piss. Oh. This is probably just oil, then. I can't evaporate it. Hmm. That's lucky that it just suspended itself in midair. Get more of that. This looks good. Nothing else in the room? Oh, there's batteries. I'm already full on batteries, though. I need to start really overpowering it. And reloading like crazy. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. But who cares, right? There you go. Think there's anything over here? Nope. Just another fence. It almost looks like a path, but nah, probably not. Come on, Goop. No problem. I had the high ground, and they were wielding axes. I mean, come on. 16 shots left? Kaboom! It's 
hunting season for your ass. Nothing over here, but a view of the the wood mill. And another note. Manuscript. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Foreshadowing? Anything in there? Nope. Okay. Honestly, I was going to go in here anyway, so. What does that say? Trust no one in the dock. Yes, we've heard that before. Flashbangs? Fuck girl. America. Seven of the rascals now, huh? Also, let's reload that while we have a chance. Flare gun is one of the best weapons. Flash out! There you go. Good old flashbangs. Another one. Oh, this one's this one's a little crafty though. Whoa, don't you fall on us. Do. Oh man, this is a evil Knievel one. He has him jumping over a bunch of flaming school buses. Out my leg. <laughs> Ooh, man, this thing is encrusted with shotgun ammo. <laughs> I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for him. I know, Bobo. Bitch, I had <laughs> I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Get a pump action shotgun. I think I will. As much as, as, much as I like the side by side, we're not shooting skeet the day. Hmm. I see you hiding out there. Wow, oh, that's pretty good. Mein Gott! I heard you. Nothing over here? Hmm. Whatever. 